The random value node is a utility node that outputs random values. It comes in four flavors. There's float, integer, vector, and boolean. They all work pretty much the same, so I'll start with float, then leave you wildly in the dark on the others. To visualize the output of this random value node, I've added a mesh line so I can set the Y position of each point with it. Increasing the point count grows the line along the X axis, and for each new point, a different random value between the minimum of zero and the max of one is being generated. Each is different because if there's no ID set, the ID input uses the index by default, as demonstrated here by plugging the index in and getting exactly the same result. Computers can't be truly random, not yet anyway, and if they are when you are, good luck. Blender uses pseudo-random number generators, the results being completely dependent on the initial numeric conditions. The seed is those conditions. If we have the same seed and the same ID, the same number will be generated. To demonstrate this, I'm duplicating these three nodes to create a second line. But I have to move it along the x-axis to see it because both lines share the same seeds and IDs and thus generate the same results. We may think we're different, but we're not. If someone shares exactly the same initial conditions as me, they too would be this miserable. I want to take this moment to say something about noise. Noise shares many of the same traits as random, but whereas each random value is an individual, unswayed by the behavior of its peers, noise is connected. Its results are random, but not in isolation, because they are part of a larger pattern. They are characters in a 90s movie where everything is connected, everyone starts singing for some reason, and a dying man in a bed whispers about his regrets for three and a half hours. Now I have a switch between two objects, true and false. For this, we can use a Boolean random value node, which has a probability slider instead of a min and a max. If I plug the output into the switch, the red noodle alarm goes off and everyone runs away. That happened because the switch input must be a single value, so we need to give the random value a fixed ID to generate a single result. That result is a boolean with a probability of being true set by the probability slider, which just so happens to be what someone with a delicate stomach calls a cheeseburger. Now I have a number of instances in a collection and I want to randomly separate one of them out from the rest. Using a random boolean for the selection doesn't work because a random value is being generated for each instance and each instance has a 50% chance of being selected. So I'll generate a random integer, compare this to the index and use the result for the selection instead. There are 10 instances. So given that indexes start at zero, we want a min of zero and a max of nine. This gives us results that are erratic at best, and at worst, wrong. This is because we are still generating a different random number to compare to each index. To generate just one random number, we need to use a fixed ID. And now, the index of each instance is being compared to the same single random value. And only one being true means only one gets selected. We can make this setup dynamic with a domain size node subtracting one from the instance count to give us our max. And now, no matter how many acts of kindness there are, the range of the random value will always match the range of their indexes. There's one last use case for the random value node I want to cover today, and that's random order. Here is another collection of instances, this time with a set position node positioning them on Y based on their index. Or, in other words, their index number determines their height. For compulsive neatness reasons, I'm going to move the random value node to the left of the others before adding a sort elements node and plugging it in. Then, if I plug the random value node into the group ID, and make the max a big max, each instance will be assigned a random group ID, so the sort elements node will sort them randomly. And finally, I'm going to add a scene time node so I can drive the seed by seconds. 
This hasn't got much to do with the random value node, but it frees my hands up as I tell you that I'm thinking of doing more of these kinds of videos. Videos about specific nodes. So do let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to cover. This suggestion does not constitute an offer. Terms and conditions apply. They will be my terms, and you better bet that there'll be conditions. Thanks for watching. Bye.